Hey guys, welcome back. Let's uh, let's get ready for episode five of Tales from the Borderlands. Start it off with a handy dandy loading screen. Just a reminder to everyone: uh, Scooter is dead. Here we are at the finale. Ugh. Or should I say? Wait, this isn't the finally, last one, is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. I don't write this stuff. If you recall. The long journey to the Vault of the Traveler actually began by accident. Atlas's gorgeous robot was designed to not only summon the Vault of the Traveler, it was also meant to deal with the complications of entering the Vault. Two unlikely Vault Hunters began to assemble it, but one component remained out of reach on a Hyperion space station. Pressed into service by the local crime lord, they concocted a plan to sneak aboard. The corporate lackey had access to inside information, but he didn't dare reveal his source. An old rival provided a priceless disguise, <laughs> while new allies helped cobble together a rummage sale lady, rocket ship. Once again, tempting fate, they flung themselves into space. Indeed, they would have died up there, were it not for the sacrifice of a noble soul. Oh, Scoot. Finally aboard the space Rip, station, scoot, scoot. the salary man found himself contending with his ambitious former accomplice. But time was short, and he was very busy, so he referred her to his assistant. Working together, the gun artist and the salary man managed one last miracle and acquired the final Gortis component. But just then, Handsome Jack offered the salary man everything he had ever wanted. How could he possibly refuse? in one of the cells for questioning. Look at the three of us living a life of crime. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks, Gordis. They got me at one of the security checkpoints. know about the plan. We intercepted your comms. So... Oh, cool! So we don't have to explain it. Where's Reese? That asshole electrocuted me and ran. So as you can imagine, I'm really looking forward to finding him. He's your president now, didn't you hear? Why don't you tell us? We're not leaving here until I start getting some answers. What the hell is that? Let's <laughs> face will remember that. Get them into the cell. Hey, President Asshole, what's taking so long? Reese! What is going on up there? Let's get dirty! I can't believe it. What? That you're finally in charge? Don't be surprised, kid. I mean, not to sound like a frickin' shampoo commercial here, but you deserve it because you killed a lot of people to get here. But listen, I know where you're coming from. A little imposter syndrome's normal when you basically just become a god. Limitless power, sweet office. So, what's the catch? The catch was that you had to kill like a hundred people to get here, <laughs> and you did that, kid, because you are a badass. Look, let me, you're done with catches now, all right? There are no more catches for you for the rest of your life, ever. When you want something to happen, it's just gonna happen. That's what power feels like. This is a perfect partnership, Reese. You trusted me, I trusted you, and now we're here, <laughs> man. Never 
really had a partner I could count on before. Feels kind of dope. <laughs> but enough talking, am I right? It's time for you to make your first command as president, Reese. Now you gotta project power. You gotta project vision. But you also want to convince the toadies that you care about them. That's important. Yeah, uh, how exactly do I do that? Oh, that's such a good question. You are on the ball today, Reese. Here, given the current corporate landscape, there's three big changes you could make right here, right now. Hmm. Which ones are gonna be? Huh. <laughs> I'm not going to fire the accountants because I know every time you mess with an accountant in this game, it just goes bad. Uh, I'm going to order pizza for everyone. Um, kind of hungry. Could go for a pepperoni pizza. You got it. Wow, that was fast. That's good, right? No. Oh, 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 oh. It smells like happiness and garlic. Oh, I need this inside me right now. <laughs> totally worth all the people you killed to get here, huh? <laughs> I mean, kind of, yeah. Now chew slowly, because this next project might make you choke to death, and we don't want that. <laughs> Prototype I was talking about? Yeah. Nakiyama actually built it. Uh, you said he never finished it. Yeah, I know I lied, but that was before we were partners. Anyway, we're gonna put it inside my original body and then upload my consciousness into it so I'd be wearing my old body, like a skin suit. It's great, right? <laughs> cool. You're damn right it's cool. All right, now the one problem was how to get the endoskeleton into my body without killing it first. But since I'm dead anyway, I had a way cooler idea. Are you ready for this? This is awesome. We make a shitload of these endoskeletons, we put them into the corpses of the bandits we killed, and then we upload my AI into all of them. You want to make an army of jacks? Freaking awesome, right? I mean, Hyperion troops die in battle. Grab the corpse, shove an endoskeleton into it, boom! Another jack. Some Ooh, asshole gives you a boom! Jackpot! Successfully wipe out a bandit camp, you turn the corpses into more jacks! Within a few months, Hyperion would have the smartest, best looking fighting force in the universe. Hmm. And the best part is, Reese, baby, you're gonna be the first recipient! Huh? Now I, I know metal skeleton forcing its way into your body. Uh, scary idea. What the hell is wrong with you? There is no way I am doing that. Uh, detecting a little ingratitude here, Reese. I did make you present. Come on. Remember how good that pizza was? No? Well, right? If I'm being honest, backing out after you got to have your fun? Huh? Kind of a... Have a dick move. <laughs> I don't know what I ever saw in you. You're nuts. Oh, you used to worship me, kid. What the hell happened? You had it right the first time, but you know what? Knowing how you feel now just makes it that much easier to kill you. I am taking the beacon and getting out of here. This was your chance to make history, you moron. To be part of a legacy. To matter for once in your useless little life. See ya, kiddo. Oh, hell no. Okay, well. Well, shit. We need to go. No, not an option. We still don't have the beacon. He's not coming. You heard the announcement. Reese made his choice. Still, a promise is a promise. No, is 
You don't know what's going on. We said we'd meet him here, so that's what we're doing. Yeah. Sometimes things are complicated. Once Hyperion, always Hyperion. Warning lockdown protocol in effect. Whoa! Okay, now we really have to go. Come on, hangar base. Oh, I thought they were gonna save him. Do you know what you be right now without me? <laughs> Nothing. Nobody turns their back on me unless they want me to sink an axe into it. You ungrateful shit! Oh, I am not gonna forget this. Fiona, Sasha, Vaughn, they're all dead. Anyone you've ever cared about is gonna meet Come on, come on, come on, come on. And once they're dead, I'm going to make them my flesh bots. And you're gonna watch as your best friends tear you limb from freaking limb. Oh, my body. It hurts inside my body. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing the president thing didn't go over so well. That's that's fine. Yeah, that's just fine. Wow. Reese, we got a problem. Oh, cool, dude. Add it to the list. The hangar bay doors just locked tighter than a bully monk's jaw. The caravan ain't going nowhere. Awesome. That's awesome. Okay, uh, I'll override it at the power core. Just give me a minute. To get my ribs. Ooh, okay. <sighs> okay. Rip. I can do this. You're not doing shit. What? Well, hello, Vet. Can't believe you shocked me, asshole. After all we've been through, little prick. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! You betrayed me. Remember? I never had you electrocuted. Wow, wow, we're just <laughs> really hung up on that specific act. What, what about you trying to kill me? You're never gonna make it. Get used to that idea. Cool, cool. Well, I'll just put that in my back pocket. It was really fun catching up with that. Have a great life being an awful person. Okay, bye. <laughs> I was like, why are you telling me this? You're in, in a prison cell right now. Come on, this way! Hey kiddos, daddy's home. What's going on? Yes, dare to dream, it's me, Handsome Jack, your favorite. I'm back in the digital flesh, baby, and I need you to help me find my very good friend. Whatever it is, it can't be good. Hey, everybody. You remember that guy, Reese, the new president, the less handsome guy? Well, he's just done so freaking well in his new job that I'm just going to throw him a big old fat party in my office with all my friends and whatnot. But I, I just can't find him. But I, I just can't find the guy. So if you, you need him, to get to the hangar bay now. Wow. Time to go. Yeah, you know, even though it's full of flesh eating monsters, Pandora suddenly feels a lot safer than here. Someday I want to live on a nice planet. Oh, Good Hello, ladies. Great. So, how are things? Still alive, I see. Well done. Uh, just a quick quest for you both. Where the hell is Reese? I got every single Helios employee looking for that ass clown. So save him some major cat strain and turn him in already. Last I heard, he was in your old office. Uh, trust me, Cupcake, he ain't in there. Otherwise, I'd be inside him. <laughs> Let's go, Fiona. He can't touch us. Well, you are just 100% right about that, Pumpkin. I can't, but my guards and their bullets sure can, and a shit ton of them are heading to you right now.